Hi dears, welcome again to Ramvi Media. I hope you all are feeling good now. Stay home and keep safe. Today, let us learn about a new grammar topic, models. Yeah, shall we start now? So the first question arises in your mind. What are models actually? What is that? Yeah, let me explain. Models are actually verbs used to express the mood or attitude of a speaker. They are always followed by a main verb. For an example, I have given here, he will go tomorrow. Go is the main verb here. So, will is helping the main verb. Okay, it is always followed by a main verb. And the actually verbs are used to express the mood or attitude of a speaker. Okay. We have number of models in English language, but we commonly use some of the models alone. So commonly used models are can, could, shall, should, may, might, must, will, would. In this video, I will be explaining some of the models and other models will be explained in the coming videos. The very first we can learn the models can. When and where should we use can? The uses are ability, permission, request, possibility and opportunity. Ability. My friend can speak English well. So, in order to show one's ability, we will use can. Okay. Second one. Can is used for permission. For an example, can I come in? So, here he is asking permission to someone. Third one. Request. So, can is also used for request. Can I take this? That's the example. Then next one possibility. Accidents can take place anywhere. So here this is not sure but this is just a possibility. Accidents can take place anywhere. Here also we can use can. The last one opportunity. So when you express opportunities we can use can. She can do this now. So here comes could the next one could when should we use could uses are past ability permission polite request and possibility so could is a model auxiliary verb used for the past it is used to say something is possible or someone has ability or power in the past not in the present so past ability example my friend could dance well when she was young not in the present my friend could dance well when she was young. Once she has the ability to dance. Okay. The next one permission. To ask permission we will use this model could. Could I rest here for a while? That's the example. Polite request also we will use this model could. Could you come with me please? The next one possibility. She could be in kitchen. Okay. So could is also used for possibility she could be in kitchen the next one is will the most commonly used model in english so you all know about the first person second person and third person in english first person is i and we second person you third person he she it they if you know this then we can learn easily the model will okay so in the future time with the third person we will use will Rhea will sing a song. They will sing a song. Or else it will sing a song. And with first person like I and we for willingness, promise, determination, intention and a threat we will use this model will. For example for willingness I will come with you. So that's the willingness. She, he is showing willingness to someone. Promise. We will go to a movie. Okay, so he is uh, promising to someone determination. I will never hurt you. It's a determination. The next one intention. We will go to the market with my father. Here there is a intention. The last one a thread. I will teach you a lesson. Okay, it's a thread. So here also we will use will. So future time with the third person we will use uh, will model. The next one with the first person willingness promise determination intention a threat these are the places we will use this model will let us learn the model would when should we use would uses past habit indicate refusal polite request past willingness condition and uncertainty express a wish and express preference so express past habit we will use the model verb would okay for example, she would often sleep 
early so it's a past habit not in the present second one to indicate a refusal we will use this model verb would the machine wouldn't work properly so it's an indicate refusal and the third one in order to express polite request it is more polite than could okay would you please give me a pen that's the example the next one past willingness in order to show your past willingness you can use this model would i would accompany you wherever you go okay the next one condition or uncertainty also we can use this model verb would i would follow her advice okay it's a condition or uncertainty the next one if you have any wish you can use would there i would like to fly like a bird okay it's a wish okay the next one you know you know to show your preference we can use the model would i would rather work than gossip another example i would prefer coffee than tea so you know to express your preference also we can use would there shall we learn the next one yeah next model is shall so use a simple future tense with the first person in simple future tense we will use the model verb shall i shall start tomorrow or we we shall start tomorrow then a comment a promise a threat determination so in order to express these things with the second and third person we will use the may model verb shall okay let us check one by one a comment you shall arrive on time it's a comment so here we should use the model shall a promise with the second and third person my brother shall do good in the coming test so it's a promise so here also we should use the model verb shall the third one a thread students shall be punished if they make noise it's a thread so with second and third person we should use shall here the next one determination you shall help me so here also we should use the main verb shall the last one interrogative interrogative in the sense questions you all know that so interrogative wishes also with this first person we will use this model verb shall shall we go to see a movie today it's an example as i already told you i am not going to explain all the models in this video so in the last one what i am going to explain is should the model should okay uses are obligation advice and suggestions express negative purpose express supposition and last one assumption okay so obligation you should respect elders then advice or suggestion you should obey parents so these are the situation you should use the model verb should the next one negative purpose walk slow lest you should fall okay so in this place we should use the model should the next one express supposition should you meet my father tell him to send money suppose supposition you know to express supposition there also we will use the model verb should the last one assumption she should be here by 5 pm it's a assumption so here also we will use the model verb should so my dears you got some knowledge about models through this video so in the coming videos you will be getting more knowledge about rest of the models wait till the next video comes so if you like my video please give a likes and comments share to your family members and friends and so on so if you are watching me for the first time please click the subscribe button and nearby that bell icon also there enable the bell icon and you will get the notification whenever i post a new video thank you for watching bye